All right, good afternoon. I'm just going to do a little weather update here. Just update you on the uh, conditions across the area because we have uh, varying conditions depending on where you're at. Um, we have uh, temperatures in the upper 60s to around 70 on Long Island. Dew points are in the mid-60s. Um, but if we go and we look over in New Jersey, um, it is a lot hotter there. Uh, we're talking 80s. 84 uh, west of in Miller Air Park, 81 being reported at Lakehurst, uh, and this is where the warm front is. And you can see you got so, plenty of 80s in New Jersey with two points near 70 degrees, and this is all due to a warm front uh, that is over the area. So if we draw our little warm front uh, symbol here, you'll see we got this warm front that's literally over here like this, uh, and uh, that is uh, causing uh, could be a focal point for some. Um, convection perhaps a little later on this afternoon uh, looking at the wonder map you'll see the same thing again you see the heat the uh, much warmer temperatures over New Jersey now why isn't this working let's try this again let's load this if we can just being very slow for no damn reason um, but you'll see here that uh, See Long Island generally in the 60s, but again, if you go to New Jersey, you see it's a lot warmer off to the west, and that's where that warm front is. Um, and uh, again, that warm front is right over here. So if we again draw that out, um, you'll see we got this warm front right about over here. All right, right about over here is where your warm front is. All right, so this warm front is uh, is, is pos it could it could be making progress into our area this afternoon. So I'll have to keep an eye on that warm front because again, that could be the focal point for some convection. Um, and uh, if we look at the latest radar, get the latest radar here, uh, you'll see. There really isn't any convection going on right now, but you'll see that there is an area of thunderstorms that is in northeastern Pennsylvania that is moving northeastward. Um, looking at the satellite image here, let's, let's get that satellite image, and you see that you clearly see the warm sector here, and you can see how it's moving toward our area. So I think that we will wind up getting warm sectored uh, this afternoon. And again, if we... Uh, draw this all out you, know, you could clearly see where that warm front is right over here so um, that is going to be moving into our direction and once that moves through the sun's going to try to come out and that helps to stabilize things uh, and also uh, make it a little more uncomfortable outside as well uh, so we'll have to keep an eye on that let's look at the latest models well first let's, let's just talk about a hurricane sam one more time right because this is remarkable. Hurricane Sam is still 100 mile an hour, has 100 mile an hour winds here. So, Sam is moving quickly northeastward, forecast to become a powerful post tropical cyclone tonight or, or early Tuesday. Uh, it's still tropical, all right? Uh, as 11 a.m., its location is 42.6 north, 45.7 west, about 460 miles southeast of Cape Race, Newfoundland. Maximum sustain winds 100 miles an hour. Moving northeast at 32 miles an hour. So it's really picked up speed now. It's caught in the trough, uh, being lifted northeastward. And the minimum sun's pressure, 960 millibars, 28.35 inches. That is incredible to see such a strong hurricane that far north. And the extent of the winds, it's a large storm. The hurricane force winds extend outward up to 60 miles from the center. And tropical storm force winds extend outward up to 275 miles from the center. And if we look at Sam on the satellite here, and so if you look at the satellite, you can see where it's clear. You can see the leaves are changing in Canada. That's the color of the leaves changing. Uh, but let's let's go and look at Sam. And you'll see just this incredible, incredible looking storm. Still very impressive looking. Uh, looks like it was it missed a couple of frames there, but uh, very impressive looking. Uh, we can also look at the, tri the tidbit site as well. And, uh, all right, there's some issue going on with delays. I don't know. There's a bunch of sites that are down, including Facebook. 
I don't know if there's something going on with the internet once again, but uh, let's go to the current storms looking at Sam here. Uh, and yeah, it's starting to lo look a little more extra tropical. Um, so yeah, but still very intense looking storm for sure. Uh, very impressive looking. Um, that's for sure. Um, you can go and look at the models and just take a look and see what the HRRR is doing with us for convection. I, I am concerned about the thunderstorm possibility uh, with this air mass in place. So uh, you can see here HRRR is popping up thunderstorms, mainly over New Jersey, and just giving us rain, rain after that. So um, we'll have to see if we see any thunderstorms, but I, I would not be surprised. Models can underestimate these things, I really think. With the, such a juiced up air mass in place, there could be the potential of some strong thunderstorms out there. Maybe even a few that might even be severe. Uh, just don't rule it out. Um, that's all I'm saying. Just don't rule it out. Uh, so I think that's going to wrap things up. I don't want to really spend too much time. I need to see if we can have a MODIS image of... It may just be too early for a MODIS image. Oh yeah, here we go. So here's Sam. Look at how far north Sam is. All right. That is incredible. Just to give you a perspective here. Let me get all the place labels in here. Sam is, 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 is very far north. You have a very strong hurricane. That's at the latitude of Maine right now. That is really incredible. Just, in the, just some of what we're seeing due to the climate crisis and it's only going to get worse uh but we'll talk more about the weather later you have a good day again expect uh watch out for some thunderstorms this afternoon and evening there could be some around yeah i know it's october but it feels more like august thanks for watching take care and have a good day